So this obviously is from like years ago and you either love it or hate it. You get a kick out of it or you don't. And uh, originally my buddy Lance and I made this video like maybe eight, nine years ago. And um, it shows the basics, the fundamentals of what happens with aluminum MIG welding. Love it, hate it, hammer we with comments, whatever you want to do. Uh, enjoy the show. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube and Chucky2009. I'm out here with Peter Zila of Zila Industrial Welding and Repair. All right, so what are we going to be doing tonight, Pete? Aluminum. Aluminum. How to weld aluminum with investing less than $500. Not bad. So we have this fine HTP MIG 130. Mm -hmm. And um, the reason why we picked this machine is we have the right drive rolls and we have serrated drive rolls. If you look really close, you can see a bunch of little grooves, almost like teeth, that help feed yeah. the wire. Okay. We run some HTP 30,000 wire, 4043. This machine will take uh, four inch and eight inch spools. Okay. It's a 110 machine. It'll run on a 20 amp circuit in your house, in your garage. Mm -hmm. We're using straight argon at about 30, 35 flow rate. Okay. And um, we're using a gun with a Teflon liner. And this gun is only about six foot long. Uh huh. It's like the perfect setup for aluminum. The shorter the gun, the better it is, or you need a push pull yeah. system. Even with a 10 foot gun, we did some experimenting before with a 10 foot gun, we weren't quite happy. All right. But with a 6 foot gun, this works pretty well. So you're saying that because aluminum wire is soft, the, the shorter the gun, the less distance you have to push it. If you want to push a rope uphill, how far <laughs> do you want to push the rope uphill? As little as possible. Oh, so right. this is kind of like how aluminum wire works. Sure, sure. Ideally, aluminum is welded in a spray transfer. These little machines, they have a hard time coming up with the power, so it might not really be a spray transfer, but we're using some uh, eighth it? inch or a yeah. hundred thousands, so it's even a little bit less material. Yeah. And we'll, we will try to uh, aluminum weld this tonight for you. The whole, right. setup, the whole setup you can probably buy for about 500 bucks or less. And if you want to do some toolboxes and some eighth inch, whatever you want to do for your race car, for your ATV, this will probably be a good alternative instead of spending like $3,000 on an ACDC mm -hmm. TIG. All right. Cool. Well, how are you going to run this? Like what, uh, what angles you work in? I'm going to run this, as we have a lap joint here, I'm going to run this at uh, about this angle, 45 into the joint, and then okay. a little bit pushed and tilted forward um, right. with a stick out of about half to three quarters of an inch. All right. That sounds good. This isn't something you're going to use to weld quarter inch aluminum plate. But for thin stuff, like you're saying, not a bad way to go. Wow, look at that. He's got it running pretty well now, you two. Hell yeah, let's see. Hell wow, yeah, we have clean, a little man. bit globular transfer here with heat it popping, and then as the material heated up, it changed more into like a slide spray here. Okay. And it looks pretty clean, and let's see what we have for penetration. We have this typical like one inch, inch and a half cold start on yeah. the wire. The same thing you see on a spool gun. As far as penetration, here you can see there's a little bit coming through. That's probably good enough. Okay. Here you have really good penetration once the material heated up. All right. And uh, so this machine is well capable of welding like eighth inch material. And uh, Not bad. So with very little or no modification to the machine, you um, you're set you can, up. You set up. I right. mean, for for hobbyist homeowners' purposes, this is a really cheap way and successful way mm -hmm. with a, with adequate penetration and good looks to weld uh, yeah. aluminum. And it's an HDP, so you know it's going to be pretty well made. It's quality. It's made in Italy. It's a good machine. It yeah. works really well. If anything happens, they'll stand behind it. So all right, now about this weld, you know, we've got this little bit of cold. Cold well, let's do the back here. side while we're still yeah. hot. So you're saying a little bit of preheat will help. Preheat will always help. All so right. That's almost too hot there. See how it's going away? Oh boy. Yeah. That's too hot right there. Jeez. 
This See, that's where we had the big heat from the first pass in it, and yeah. it just got a little bit too hot. Ooh. So you, it's aluminum. Aluminum is a lot of learning curve. It's not like steel. You don't see like a molten puddle per se. Mm -hmm. Aluminum changes colors. It doesn't glow. Yeah. And in order to get really good at it, it takes a lot of practice. You find out how much you have to preheat, mm -hmm. when not to weld anymore, especially yeah. if you do like a build up on like an aluminum windshield wiper mount. And if you try to fill the hole and you get crazy and you fill, 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 and before you know it's half of the thing is just like falling Ooh, off and a big yeah. blob of aluminum on the floor. So you're saying it takes a little while it takes it a little takes bit. a little bit getting used yeah. to it, it get takes... yourself a piece of scrap aluminum yeah. cut it up with a saw and and run a couple beats and see where you're at and where you need to be and if you need to stop when you see it's getting too hot just stop mm -hmm. you know take a little break a minute or two let it cool a little bit yeah. don't dunk it in water no definitely and then not. and then keep welding again when um, the temperature is yeah. right we've seen a pretty extreme change from way too cold to way too hot I guess with this aluminum you know, it takes a little while to heat up, but when it heats up, it really heats aluminum up. Aluminum is a good heat conductor. That's yeah. aluminum. It first, it's at first the cold aluminum because it, it's a good heat conductor. Mm -hmm. It sucks the heat out of the weld, which makes it crowned and cold a little bit into the part. But once the whole part is hot and has no way to go, then you see this where it's like falling through almost, where the mm. whole part is like heating up. Yeah. All right. Okay. Cool. So, you know, definitely, I guess this probably isn't quite as ideal as using a spool gun, but if you have a nice for 110 mig. For setup for a hobbyist or homeowner, this is, this is really well. Instead of spending right. thousands of dollars on a spool gun or an, even more thousands of dollars on an ACDC TIG welder, mm -hmm. this, will be, this will be a good setup to, um, for little projects. Not bad, not bad. So another another thing you might want to keep in mind is you know with AC TIG as you know the, the balance you get sort of a cleaning action with it, but a straight DC arc like this you probably don't have this do you? You don't have much cleaning action. Okay. What you have is occasionally if the wire switches into short circuit transfer the wire actually pokes through the oxide layer. Okay. If you're in a straight spray arc it doesn't do it, but the straight spray arc is so hot and washes out a lot of that a lot of those impurities okay. and you, it's important to start it with clean material, um, acetone wash it, you know don't stainless steel wire brush it first and brush the dirt in, Acid wa and acetone wash it first then if you feel you have to brush some oxide layer because the piece was outside for a while mm -hmm. or, or has some heavier oxide on it then brush it, wash it again but on fresh material it's pretty safe to just weld it. Maybe wipe it and yeah. weld it or okay. just weld it, yes. Minimal prep. Minimal prep. Minimal prep. All right. Well, got anything else? That's about what it is. We used the 100% argon. We used the 4043 wire in 030 diameter. And um, the results are surprisingly good for the investment for the investment in the machine. And what we're working with here. All right. Yes. Well, a big thank you to Mr. Schnee Tiger 77 and uh, as always, YouTube, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. <laughs>